Welcome to the Pagan Playground, week 35, in attempt 15 of the YouTube Pagan Challenge. Do you believe in ley lines, places of energy? I sh after having filmed this 10 million times, I should have probably Googled what the heck a ley line is and have yet to do so. <laughs> so I still do not know what a ley line is. The only thing that comes to mind is like, I think it goes through Paris. There's some sort of line that I guess is like the meridian of something or other and it's somewhere in France. That's like the only thing I can think of or the, I think it's the Nazca lines where for some weird reason, the only way you can picture these pictures or see these pictures are from a aerial device, i.e. plane or helicopter, and they can't quite figure out, it's like, well, how do you design this thing and do it from the ground without, I mean, <laughs> nobody quite knows how these things were created, so those are the only things I can think of with ley lines. What they are in reality, I do not know, do tell. As far as places of energy, definitely. Um. You create your own place of energy basically like right here would be a place of energy where I do my work the most and the only thing other than that like a place you could like maybe go to would maybe be a haunted house some place where energy gets stuck maybe uh I think like um places like Stonehenge must be wild of energy not necessarily for what it might have been used for in old times, but what the energy of the modern druids bring to it, the energy that's brought to it now, that would be interesting. Same thing with the pyramids of Egypt and things like that. So I think there are places of energy that people are so bound to and connected to these places for whatever reasons, they bring their own energy and sort of add it to the pool, even though whatever might have been there might either have dissipated or maybe it might still linger and maybe that's why people are drawn to these places. So I do believe it exists but I don't think there's any particular reason they exist. You bring your own energy and create your own places of energy. Um, can't think of any place else necessarily. Well, I'll say in, in a non-metaphysical way, like the Vietnam Memorial. There's just there. I think Arlington would be even better because when I was there, there's such a weird energy there that it's it's a subtle type of thing where it's not. It's something you have to experience. So you don't quite know is it from the people who are buried there or the people that are bringing their own selves. So those places have a strange energy. Well, it is a grave graveyard, and it's not. How do I explain this? It's not stifling. It's sort of compressed, but it's not in a negative sort of way. It's just everybody's always silent and it's very little commotion and it's such a weird thing to experience. And if you can go there, go there. And it's a similar thing with the Vietnam Memorial. So things like that, I mean, there's so many different places with different types of energy, but it all depends on the purpose of said place. As, and I would think maybe na natural places like Niagara Falls, the Redwoods. I would love to see the Redwoods. <laughs> but it's way on the other side of the country. Kind of inconvenient. Uh, so, yes, that is my incoherent ramble of Do you believe in ley lines, places of energy? Duh. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and blessed be. And see you next week on the YouTube Big Challenge. Bye!